Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel, The Fool's Journey Tarot. Today is December 9th, 2019. This is a general love reading for the first part of December. Because it's a general love reading, it can't pertain to any kind of relationship. Romantic, family, friend, co-worker, exes, enemies. It can also apply to situations and circumstances you might be dealing with. Be flexible with the energy. Don't be too concerned about the gender of the cards or the pronouns I'm using to describe them. You can interchange the roles within the reading. You might be represented by any one of the characters that shows up in the cards. Also, you might feel like I'm reading for you, but you could also feel like you're cross-watching for somebody that you're dealing with. So, Aquarius, <clears throat> and this is my co-star, Carmilla. She's been moved into the living room for the daytime hours so that she can get more light since it's starting to get dark really early. When she's tucked into the bedroom, it gets dark like around 3 o'clock. So we've moved her into the living room, and so she's going to be around more frequently. And I'm just hoping that she starts to behave, maybe because she's exposed more to being out. She won't be so rambunctious, if you know what I mean. Okay, Aquarius, I pre-shuffled all my decks. Let's get started. Let's see what's going on with you today. So in your underlying energy, we're going to start with the moon in reverse, with the ten of wands in reverse. We have the five of swords in reverse, nine of cups in reverse, three of wands in reverse. The Chariot, the Seven of Wands, and that is paired with the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, so in your underlying energy, we have the Moon in reverse, um, Ten of Wands in reverse. I feel like you've been working on or trying to expose some secrets um, or trying to get down to the bottom of something that you were unsure about. You've been working on this for a while. It's been a burden for you. You're trying to, at this point in time, maybe let it go or you're coming to the end of your endeavor and maybe finding out what you need to find out in order to move on. I think what you found out is that you need to leave something behind or you need to give up on this effort because it, it, I feel like it turned into a conflict for you or it turned into um, more than you bargained for or you maybe thought you wanted it at one point in time and now you realize you don't. This could be in relation to a situation or a, or a relationship. Um, I feel like you're, you're moving on now after having put a significant amount of effort into um, working on this and you may be um, feeling at this point in time that you want to leave it behind because you're just your heart's not in it anymore and um, it, like I said it wasn't what you had thought it would be um, I do feel that you put a lot of effort work into this whatever it is but whatever you revealed or uncovered has turned into a realization that this is just not what you wanted. And maybe more more, um, more of a mental conflict or more worrisome or more um, challenging or difficult than you anticipated and it wasn't, it wasn't worth it for you or you just don't see the value in it anymore. Um, you might be, like I said, feeling a little apathetic about this endeavor at this point in time or you lost the passion for it or it's you're just you just don't have it in you anymore to fight it could have also um resulted in an emotional toll on you that you maybe feel worn out or just feel like this is this is beaten you up and left you out to dry and you're just not willing to push forward with it anymore. That maybe you realized, like I said, that it wasn't what you wanted or wasn't what you were hoping for, wasn't what you were waiting for. 
and so it's time to move forward with something new trying to time to strike out and do something different time to get away from this time to leave the old behind for something new that will that will um, get you motivated again and feeling like you're moving in the positive right direction. That's what I've got so far. Let's see what else we get for you, Aquarius. In my second set of cards, clarifying the moon in reverse, we have the chariot in the reverse position this time. We had it in the upright position down here. And then we have the Two of Cups, clarifying the Ten of Wands in reverse. Ouch! Don't bite my ear. I swear she does that just to get a rise out of me. She doesn't bite hard enough to, like, injure me. It's like a pinch. <laughs> you need to behave. Okay, you're just here for decoration. That's it. That's all you're here for. world in reverse, clarifying the ten, or sorry, the five of swords in reverse, <clears throat> hangman in reverse, clarifying the nine of cups, nine of cups in reverse, that confused me because I just said nine of cups, the nine of cups in reverse came up again in this set of cards, clarifying the three of wands, seven of swords in reverse, clarifying the chariot, Page of Cups, clarifying the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands, clarifying the Queen of Cups in reverse. I swear to goodness gracious, the repeats are just nuts lately. It's all the time. Now, I use four different decks. I consider myself fairly new to tarot. I've been doing tarot for about a year. But I've been doing tarot obsessively for about a year. I mean, I do tarot all the time because to me it's just fascinating. This tool is just amazing. So when I get these kind of things where I get these cards and repeats and the meanings become very clear to me, <clears throat> it just blows my mind, Aquarius. So there we have the seven. So you may be feeling very defensive that at one time this was something you were passionate about and you've lost... You've lost the passion, you've lost your interest, you've lost your ambition. You don't feel motivated by this anymore. Could have, this this endeavor, this relationship, looks like it could be a relationship with the Two of Cups out here on the table and your underlying energy. I mean, this could have just, you know, like I said, you feel, wrung, you feel wrung out, you need to be hung out to dry and just start something new or move away from this. Very defensive about having at one time maybe felt very passionate about this relationship or this situation and now it's just, it's not what you want anymore. It's not bringing you the same emotional satisfaction that maybe it once did. It wasn't what you had hoped for. Your ships did not come in. There's your second, there's another repeat for you. Ships did not come in. It wasn't what you thought it would be. It wasn't the dream that you thought it was. You're becoming un unstuck from pursuing this because now, you know, you realized this relationship is what it is. And um, like I said, things didn't quite pan out the way you had hoped. I'm calling this a relationship, not a situation because of the Two of Cups. But it could still be, you know, Two of Cups could potentially represent, you know, a new, a new job or uh, some kind of new business venture maybe you were working on or something that you, you know, some kind of thing you had passion for that you really worked hard on. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and call it a relationship because of the Two of Cups. So it's definitely something you were working on, something you were hoping for, something you were striving for. And um, you may have come to a point where, where you've just found out all that you can regarding the situation. There's no more. There's no more, um, there's no more to, to find out regarding this situation or, or no more juice left in the, in the relationship or no more, um, motivation. Like I said, okay. 
Um, there may have been some, some conflict, um, some possible... You know, we got the Seven of Swords out here. So it's, it's possible that um, something went wrong or you... Let me get some more cards out here before I start analyzing this and just rambling crap out of my mouth before I know what I'm talking about. Um, I just feel like this over time turned into <clears throat> something negative for you rather than positive. You know, you may have felt like you were fighting for this and the fight just wasn't worth it anymore for you. Maybe you were fooling yourself, kidding yourself into thinking this was something you wanted. And you need you need to realize that, you know, it's time to move on, that this isn't. I think the Seven of Swords more than anything may um, indicate that you were that you were um, fooling yourself, that you were trying to convince yourself maybe that this is something you wanted when it really wasn't. Be I mean, you, sometimes you get into something, right, and you you work so hard for it that you at some point think, I've put way too much energy, too much money, too many resources, too much emotional, um, investment into this relationship or the situation to let it go now I need to keep doing this because I need to get I need to get to my end goal my nine of cups but all throughout this process as you're working toward it maybe you're thinking this seeing seeing as as you as you uncover the mystery behind what this was for you this relationship or this endeavor that um the more and more you got into it, the more and more you realized you were clo getting closer to it, the more and more you realized that it wasn't what you wanted. And that you were fooling yourself into thinking that's what you wanted. What are you doing? You giving me a haircut? Sometimes she bites my hair off, so she'll take little nibbles. And she hasn't been doing that lately. She's doing it in the summertime for some reason. But I would have her on my shoulder and she'd be biting at my hair. And I would get up and I'd have like these chunks. Stop being mean. I'd have these little pieces of hair on my shoulder. And she'd given me a haircut. Yeah, well I just had a haircut about three weeks ago. So I don't need your help. Thank you very much. She does her little. <laughs> she pounds her beak on my shoulder when she's. Acting like she's copping an attitude with me. She has got a, she is a little, I won't use the first word, but she, she's a funny bird. We'll leave it at that. She's just a funny bird, Aquarius. Birds can have attitudes too, and some, sometimes they're not so funny. She likes to get her way. <clears throat> Get some more cards out here, Aquarius, and refocus on what's at hand here. Okay, so we have the Hierophant, clarifying the moon in reverse. And the Three of Swords, clarifying the Ten of Wands. Seven of Swords again, there's another repeat, this time in the upright position, clarifying the Five of Swords. The Hermit in reverse. Knight of Cups, clarifying the Three of Wands in reverse. Eight of Cups in reverse. Page of Wands in reverse. And the Queen of Swords in reverse, clarifying the Queen of Cups. So right now I just have your energy on the table here, Aquarius. You're represented by the Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. You may have left this behind. You might not be talking to a lot of people about this because it's still emotional for you or you're still feeling um, troubled by it, feeling a little defensive about it. 
So you might be clammed up about this. If you are talking about it, it might be in um, a negative way, kind of downplaying this. This isn't about a failure as far as I can see. This isn't a failed endeavor or a failed relationship. This is one that you're giving up on, one that you're turning away from. But there has been some grief and sorrow surrounding the situation that I feel like you've been burdened by. Um, with the three of swords out here in your underlying energy, this could just indicate that this relationship was was burdened by a lot of grief and sorrow. There was a lot of heartache involved. You know, it's possible with the Three of Swords that there could have been infidelity if this is a relationship that we're talking about. And you may have been dealing with that and just ready to give that up. That it's, you know, with the Hierophant in your underlying energy, maybe try, it's just time to move on from this. There's nothing left to find out. There's nothing left to uncover. There's no more secrets left to be revealed. And, um... At this point in time, I think you just feel stuck stewing about this more than anything. You've done what you can do regarding the situation. You found out what you can find out. You've uncovered what you can uncover. And now I think spirit might be saying or agreeing with you that it's time to move on. I feel like you feel motivated to move on. Um, the other thing, though, I'm, I'm confused by is that in this set of cards... I feel like maybe you have tried to move away from this relationship or the situation before, but maybe you feel like you're lying to yourself because you keep going back to it or you keep getting stuck on it or you keep returning or you keep thinking about it. You keep, um, maybe you have left the situation in the past and Something keeps bringing you back. Eight of Cups in reverse. You may have been waiting on somebody to make an offer. And maybe you realize you don't want that anymore. Or this could also indicate that it just didn't happen for you. I mean, the Nine of Cups can be, in this reading, what I'm seeing is it could be one of two things. This could be something you've realized you don't want anymore. You've been pursuing it, but you don't want a person. You've been pursuing a relationship. You've been pursuing, and you know, after finding out what you can about this person or this relationship or the situation, you realize you don't want it anymore. This could also be that you've been waiting for someone to approach you or connect with you or make an offer to you, and it just hasn't happened. Your wish didn't come true. And so you're leaving it behind, but there's part of you maybe who still revisits this situation, maybe trying to figure out what went wrong or why you didn't get what you wanted. Hermit reverse, hangman in reverse. With these two together, I feel like you know, you've been um, put a lot of thought into this. You probably maybe you've thought you've sought um, you know some counseling or some some support regarding the situation to see if you couldn't. Um, achieve this goal or make this <clears throat> relationship work but with these two in reverse I feel like you're, you're working on getting yourself unstuck from this situation or you feel like you've just been spending too much time on this and it's time to let it go time to see it for what it is and it isn't what you want it isn't what you thought you wanted Let's get some more cards out here. There, you know, the Seven of Swords is out here again. I, I have to, I have to talk about Seven of Swords a little bit more because it feels significant to me, especially being out here twice. And this one is in the upright position. So, and it's clarifying the Five of Swords in reverse. So, I do feel like there, you've been struggling with this for a while. There, there could have possibly been, especially with the Three of Swords out here too. If this is a relationship situation, there could have been some deceit or some lies or some um, shenanigans going on with this person that you're dealing with. And it, it resulted in um, a considerable amount of 
um, fighting, conflict, maybe mind games. Um, and it went on, it probably is still going on, world in reverse. I don't know that that has ended. If you're still involved with this person or you're still, <clears throat> I mean, obviously the energy's here, so you're still dealing with this. It's not like this relationship is gone or the situation has, you know, dissolved into thin air. Um, so obviously you're still dealing with this. But it does feel like you're in the process of trying to get away from it. Trying to maybe emotionally detach from this person or the situation. I keep saying situation or circumstance. And I know I sound repetitive. But I only have the two of cups on the table to indicate this possibly could be a relationship. You know, I've got the page of cups and the knight of cups. But this could also be passion for or love for a situation, um, a job, a, a hobby, a um, adventure, a new project, you know, whatever. It, it can indicate, it doesn't necessarily need to indicate a relationship. We'll see what else we get for you, Aquarius. Again, I do have the sense that you may have been waiting for something too, and it just never, never came to you, never, maybe, um, you know, this was a one-sided relationship or you put a lot of effort into something without seeing results. Or if you did see results, again, it wasn't what you had anticipated or what wasn't what you were hoping for. Let's see what else we get, Aquarius. So we have the Fool, clarifying the Chariot Reverse. And there's the Three of Wands again in the Reverse. Some underlying energy. Nine of Cups again for the third time. Same set of cards, too. Ace of Cups in reverse. This is feeling similar to um, Capricorn's reading from yesterday. There's the Moon again in reverse. King of Wands in reverse. I think this is the person you're dealing with. Let me get the rest of these out. Four of cups in reverse. And, oh, you pooped. Two of cups again, this time in the reverse, clarifying the seven of wands. Sorry, I had to wipe off the poop before I stuck my elbow in it. I, th I you know, this fool's confusing me because it feels like, um, you know, things haven't gone anywhere and, and, with this relationship, I'm going to call it a relationship now because we have the two, I, I, I can't deny it. We have the Nine of Cups came out again, Ace of Cups in reverse, Two of Cups in reverse, Four of Cups in reverse, and now we have the King of Wands. So we do have somebody else's energy, so I'm calling this a relationship at this point in time. I do feel like this. there's stagnancy. That not, there's no movement in this situation. You either want a new beginning with this person, a new start with this person, or you want to take a chance and just leave this all behind and 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 go for something brand new um something that's not what you're dealing with right now it didn't work out you didn't you didn't get what you anticipated you were getting and, and again i do feel like there was a lot of waiting maybe waiting for this person to come around see things your way um and you put a lot of effort into this. I feel like the effort put in by you was unmatched by this person or definitely Im imbalanced because I don't feel, this person's energy is not very strong with just the king of wands. He's clarifying the seven of swords too. And this was the card I was confused about earlier. I'm, you know, part of me thinks that this is about you maybe fooling yourself and 
wanting to move away from feeling like you're you're just you know pulling the wool over your own eyes there's something though about this person possibly um maybe not giving you all the information or not being their authentic self not maybe putting on a mask maybe was this person upright i think the king of wands was upright so the, I'm going to get the rest of these cards while I talk about the King of Wands a little bit. So the King of Wands is someone who has leadership qualities. This is somebody, and he's in the upright position. So this is somebody who has, you know, some integrity. And, and he is um, someone who takes action. Someone who may be ambitious. This could be somebody who you thought was had embodied these kind of um, personality traits and it turns out they really didn't because maybe you were waiting for this person to make a move, waiting for this person to um, show some interest or pursue the relationship the way you were and they just weren't, weren't doing what you thought that they would do if they were the type of person that you thought they were. You might be feel, feeling a little defensive about the demise of this relationship or what feels like it could potentially be the end of you pursuing this or the end of the relationship itself. It doesn't feel like a um, an established relationship to me. This feels, again, this is similar to Capricorn's video. Okay, you're, you cannot walk through my cards because you're going to mess it up. She pooped on the table again, so I guess she's got diarrhea or something today. I don't know what the hell. You're pooping a lot. I'm glad you're not pooping on me. Don't get me wrong, but that's the last of my paper towel, so you're going to need to stop pooping until I'm done this reading, okay? <laughs> Do you think she's going to comply, Aquarius? I don't. I don't think she is. I think she's going to poop whenever the hell she feels like it. All right, so Aquarius, like I was saying, this is feeling a lot like Capricorn's reading from yesterday. Um, and that was all about unrequited love. It was a one-sided relationship. You were putting in the effort. Capricorn was putting in the effort and the other person was not. This is feeling a little bit like that. What is your plan? Okay, I, here's the thing. Okay. Walk on the cards if you must, but please don't scatter them. I feel like I'm making her mess the cards up more because I chase her. Now she's trying to pick them up. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Now, stay on my shoulder, please. I chase her around and she runs <laughs> so the cards get scattered even more. But then she started to try to pick them up. I can't have her on the table. You have to behave or I'm going to put you back in the bedroom. And I know you don't want that. I'm sorry, Aquarius. I should have left her in a cage. Because I am really distracted. Okay, so we have the Knight, Knight of Cups again. There's another repeat. Holy cow. That's all I have to say about that. This time in the upright. I do feel um, that you were waiting on an offer from this person. And it didn't happen. Six of Pentacles. Again, there's this desire for balance, um, desire for equal give and take, desire for, um, you know, receiving what you give, putting in the same amount of effort, love, um, desire, support that you would expect in return. Oh shit, I just cut the cards, damn it. I don't ever do that kind of mistake, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep shuffling and put out the rest. I can't believe I did that. Okay, well, my subconscious did it. I guess spirit wanted me to shuffle some more. We might have to put the bird back in the bedroom. She, she's too distracting. I know she's just sitting here scratching herself and stuff, but I'm messing things up. 
Okay, let's get the rest of these out, let's see what we get. Three of Swords came out again. Page of Cups came out again. Two more repeats. This person just never came around with an offer, Aquarius. And I feel like you, you know, you, you gotten to the point now where you feel like you just need to, you need to end this frustration of, of waiting on this. You've been waiting for it for a while. This needs to come to an end. You're starting to feel very pessimistic about it. Like it's not going to happen. That this isn't, you want to give up on this. It's not, it's not what you thought it was. It's not happening. Ouch. I, I do feel like you've, you've given this a, a lot of chances. You've left and come back to this situation, hopeful that it might, that it might change, that this person might take action the way you, you know, this, again, this King of Wands, if they are who they are, if they are who they say they are, they are this person doesn't, doesn't shirk away from responsibility. Um, this person does take action when they um, feel it's necessary or feel responsible um, and they're not doing it. You may have also, um, like I said, left and come back or given this up and then you know, it comes back into your head and you start thinking about this relationship again. I feel like maybe you've experienced some heartache more than once surrounding this situation. Experience the heartache and the grief, then you heal from it, and then it starts over again. That type of thing. The more time that passes, um, I feel the more you realize that this, this isn't what you want. Moon in reverse again. You realize that this isn't what you want. Maybe at one time, you know, you thought that this was the right thing. But again, as time passed, you realized, you know, more information, more secrets about this person, or more unknowns about this person, or maybe... You get to know them a little better and realize who they really are. And there was a lot of, perhaps a lot of deceit regarding um, how they were presenting themselves versus who this person really was or is. I don't feel like this person is a bad person. So I, I want to get that out of the way too, because this Knight of Wands, I mean, sorry, this King of Wands is not presenting as someone who who is a liar or malicious or a manipulator. Um, they just genuinely, you know, I hate to say this, but they just genuinely don't feel the same way. Um, and it's possible, again, that this could also represent you were kind of fooling yourself about who this person was or how they felt, felt about you or this relationship. Now this, again, this doesn't have to be romantic. It could, have, it could have been a situation where it felt like it could have turned into a romantic situation for you. You were hopeful for that, but this person wasn't. The offer never came. So you're realizing um, that this wasn't a shared love. And at this point in time, realizing that this was not what you were hope, hoping for or not the, not the wish that you thought you wanted, you're now releasing yourself from this so that you can move forward and be happy and pursue things that, um, pursue relationships where you do have that equal give and take, where you have that balance in love.
because you're defensive in, about about your emotions, about who you give your love to because you deserve that kind of love. You deserve this kind of love, not this kind of love. You don't deserve to be left out in the cold and your feelings ignored or your feelings not respected or not reciprocated. You know, maybe, maybe this person did kind of come off as really enjoying the attention that you were giving them. Um, the, the relationship, again, may have been a, a good friendship. Maybe it started out like that. And this person um, was showing affection for you on a level that they thought was more representative of, you know, friendship. And you took it differently. Um, it's really interesting how I, I don't know that I've had this happen before now my channel's new I've only had my channel since about July so I don't know that I've ever felt like um, I was doing another reading for a different sign where it felt as similar as this does to yesterday's um, Capricorn reading but it really does feel similar to that. It feels like an extension of Capricorn. So maybe you're dealing with a Capricorn or you, you know, or vice versa. Um, might be a reading you want, want to check out. Maybe you'll get a little more insight into what's going on. But, uh, you know, just like yesterday in the, in the Capricorn reading, I do feel like there is the sense that, um, you are moving on from this, that you're letting it go. It feels, it, you know, it feels like there's, wow, I can't believe I'm at 37 minutes already. Holy crap. I'm sorry, Aquarius. I'm going way too long on this reading. I'm going to try. Now, I'm not going to rush. Now that I'm at 37 minutes, I'm all, oh shit, I got to shuffle faster and get my last card out. I'm just, it is what it is. It's going to run long because I'm rambling on about the bird and I'm carrying on about yesterday's reading and whatever else. So I'm sorry, Aquarius, if this is getting too long and boring, I apologize. I'm going to get this last card and we'll wrap it up. Anyway. That's way too many cards. I just want one spirit for um, Aquarius, one last card as maybe an advice card, closing statement, a little summary, maybe some insight, Aquarius's next step, where Aquarius should go from here. Is that one? Yeah, that's the one that wants to come out. So we have six of earth, which is the six of, six of pentacles. Again, yet another repeat. These cards are very different from the traditional Rider Waite, but just for the record, um, that's the card, six of pentacles. I don't know that I've ever pulled this one. Six of Earth. As always, I am going to read from the book. And I will display the card for you so you can look at the images I read. And there it is. It's pretty short. Well, it's about a half a page. All right, Aquarius, let's see if this gives you any more insight into your situation. Then we'll wrap this reading up. The Six of Earth reminds us of our responsibility and duty to our family, especially the younger members. It asks us to be selfless and in service to those who are in need or dependent on us for love, care, and support. If you have children, it is your responsibility to provide them with a home that is safe and free from potential harm. It is your duty to provide their, for their... Sorry, she like fluffed her feathers, and I'm pretty sure one crawled up into my nose because it got really itchy. Hmm. Sorry. It is your duty to provide for their physical and emotional needs, love and shelter them. As a parent, it is your responsible to, responsibility to set a good sample, a good example, to be a role model to those around you. Educate them, teach them to be truthful, respectful, and to do unto others as they would have others do unto them. Teach them about life outside the home, of nature, of the world they dwell on in their role as custodians and caretakers of this blue-green planet. Teach by word and deed, lead by example. 
If you have no children, the Six of Earth comes to remind you that it is your responsibility to both humanity and Gaia to become the best person you can be. Help where and when you can in your local community. Teach and share your knowledge wherever, whenever possible. Lead by example and be responsible for your words and deeds within the broader community. Look out into the world and understand that we share this planet and its resources and each of us needs to do what we can to protect the animals, the forests, and oceans. All of us have duties to care, duty of care of, to both family and the environment. While the Six of Earth represents responsibility and duty of care overall, it also signifies that there is a matter that needs to be taken care of in the present. If this is the case, do not forget, do not delay. Okay, so... <clears throat> If you're resonating with this reading, hopefully that resonated for you. I do have a lot of pages on the table um, in this reading. So it is it is potential that there's children involved and maybe this, this pursuit of this relationship or this endeavor, whatever this is for you, you're realizing wasn't good for you, maybe also wasn't good for the people that surround you, excuse me, and wasn't a responsible thing for you to do. And maybe that's why you're moving on or trying to anyway. Um, I hope that this reading gave you some clarity. Aquarius, I'm gonna leave that here because I'm now on 41 minutes, my longest video ever. If you made it through the whole thing, congratulations and thank you for watching this mess of a reading. I hope that it gave you something that you can take with you and move forward with your um, situation. And I wish you all the best, Aquarius. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope that I see you again sometime. Carmela says goodbye too, bye.